Don Brown and Brennan Carroll now have their first game as coordinators at Arizona in the books. The Wildcats are looking ahead to this weekend's matchup against San Diego State, but the coaches learned a lot about their team during the season opener. On Tuesday, they spoke to us more about it. Sure. When you looked at the pass blocking in particular this past game, what did, what did you see? Yeah, we, uh, we had a couple critical errors. Um, you know, you could say, oh, we had you know, we graded out pretty well, but, you know, if you're giving up sacks, it's, it doesn't matter. So um, I thought that uh, technique-wise, they, they were pretty solid, and then we had a couple, just a couple critical errors in each spot, really. Each, each one of the five guys had one or two things that just we can't we can't do so um, we'll correct those and, and keep working on sure jed said after the game that he thought it was kind of more on the quarterbacks and maybe three out of the four sacks would, would I'll you always, always kind of I'd take always, it under i'd always i'm gonna take credit for everything if the quarterback gets breathed on wrong then we're um then we're not doing our job so um yeah it was a couple sacks a couple hits we can't let them take it um, it seemed like the offense line got better at uh, running blocking throughout the game. Okay. Uh, the progression that they made from the game there. Yeah, they, um, our guys have bought into the our philosophical uh, values of our run game, and they've, they fought like crazy, and they didn't give up. They didn't quit, uh, you know, down 21-3, and we kept running the ball and um, kept finding ways to move the downs out of there. And, um, you, uh, you did a good job. They, they hit us on a couple of their uh, stunts and pressures and got us for some, you know, low gains. But uh, uh, we felt confident going through that game, not having any minus runs, um, and we were uh, pretty efficient running the ball. So um, we're excited. That's a, as, that's our starting point. You know, I just my my assessment is we ran the ball um, pretty darn well for the first time out, which. Usually correlates that the guys have a clue what they're doing, um, so that that was a positive. Uh, you know, you, we give up a, a quarterback scramble for 39 yards, and you know we've got a chance to sack him and get him on the ground, uh, which I thought was big. That and the, and the one real explosive pass against us on the third down scenario. Um, are the two plays that you know are gonna they're gonna take a while to get away from me, because uh, those are two of the two huge plays in the game for us. Um, just some some other things. We had eight TFLs, uh, which you know we only had one sack. We had three knockdowns. Thought they did a decent job of moving the pocket. Um, you know, and trying to get a get away from us. Uh, third down conversion, they were four for 12, which is a, you know, that's kind of a good number. Uh, you know, we're looking for 70%. I think that's somewhere around 33, so that's 67%. So that way, uh, you know, some, just some good, uh, some good things. Uh, I, th I thought some individuals, you know, stuck out and, and played pretty, pretty darn well. Uh, Trey Hayward, you know, uh, had 10 tackles, led us some tackles. He was tied with um, Bandy. And, uh, you know, I thought he played pretty good for his uh, first go round and, and really with limited practice time. Uh, you know, up front, I thought we uh, competed hard and pl played well. Bars who had missed some time, certainly, you know, he had his first sack as a collegian. So good. Uh, you know, uh, you know, good for him. Trey Mason uh, certainly uh, ran to the ball well and did some positive things for us up front. J.B. Brown, I thought our secondary played pretty darn well. You know, you took out, you take out, which you can't, but you take out the, the one explosive pass play where somewhere around 130, plus we had four pass breakups. So, um, you know, some things to feel good about there as we move forward after week one. Stanley Berryhill and Rashi Hodge were two of the key players for Arizona Saturday night. Tuesday, they spoke with us about the first game of the season and their excitement for the home opener. We have great energy in our fight. Like We never gave up in that game, being down 21-3 at one point. You never seen nobody on that sideline put their head down. You walking up and down the sideline, you see everybody telling them, keep your head up. We got this. This is our game. You know, nobody got down on themselves. Nobody just doing the talent gave up. We, we, that's nothing. But we, nobody, nobody on this team has none of that. 
So you, you guys seem like you're very bought into the coaching staff, and then uh, Coach uh, Fish said after the game that you guys are in the locker room, like really excited to get back to work on Monday. Uh, just what makes you guys just so you know excited to play for the staff and just continue playing? We see our potential, and they see our potential too. Honestly, like we see that we can be great, and the fact that we're buying in is also great for us too. And the coaches, the coaching staff know exactly what they're talking about, know exactly what they're doing. And it's a great coaching staff, and that's why we, I think that's why we're really buying in. I don't think none of us have been around a coaching staff like this that's so like encouraging and so just like focused on one goal and have us all like intact and ready to ball. Go ahead. What do you hope the environment is like this Saturday playing in front of these fans for the first time? The environment like around in the stands or us as a team? Well, just playing here at home for the first time. Us as a team, I know we're excited. We're ready to get back out there and play. Like we, we seen us how we did in the third and fourth quarter. We know what we can do and what we will do this upcoming Saturday. And in the stands, I hope it's rocking. You know, it's my first game here. I hope I really hope it's rocking. I really hope it goes crazy because that's gonna be really exciting. Honestly, being here, having my family here, first time ever, like first time ever being in the stands, really. It's gonna be really fun, honestly. I hope it's. I hope it's. I hope it's really fun. What about this team feels different, or catches your eye compared to what you've seen throughout your career? Uh, we just compete, and we never gave up, and that's a huge step from in the past. We never laid down. Once we faced adversity, we just kept pushing and kept going, and we had opportunities to win that game. If you look at it, we were 0, and 4, 0 for 4 in the red zone, and I feel like if we convert three, at least three of those, the game was in our hands. So. I mean, everyone's just, they have a positive mindset about the year and they bought into what Coach Fish and all the coaches bring to the table and we have a lot of experience with the coaches and players. So I think in the past we were very young. We had a lot of people opt out last year, but I think this year we got everyone back and we're kind of matured and we have a lot of older guys on the team to, to steer the young guys and we're all one. So. Yeah, that rally in the second half, it came up short. Is that something that you feel like was kind of unique for this team that previous years probably wouldn't have been able to have that much of a run in the second half? You guys made it pretty close. Yeah, a little bit. It's just something to build on. Like, we're not going to be satisfied with a moral victory. So, yeah, losing to BYU, it wasn't supposed to be as bad, but I think we should have won that game. But not to, we don't try to think about what happened in the past because we can't go back and fix it. So now we're just focusing on San Diego State and trying to make something happen with them. Can you talk about Bernard's performance? He seemed like he got stronger throughout the game. Uh, what were you seeing out there for him? I mean, yeah, it was his first start, uh, his first college career start, and you could tell there was some nerves there, but there was nerves for all of us. First time head coach, first time running the offense, first time running the defense, first time starting that quarterback. A lot of times, first of a first time, some of the receivers played that much in the game. So as it went on, you could tell that Gunner got more comfortable and he was more he was more into it with the offense and he wasn't as nervous. And if he plays like he did in the second half, we're gonna win a lot of games. The Wildcats have their home debut Saturday at 7 p.m. and we'll have continuing coverage throughout the week. Here at Arizona Stadium, I'm Avery Klanowski with GoAZCats.com.